back with a new story today. Don't forget, if you enjoy these read-alouds, click the subscribe button so you get notifications when more videos are released. Today's story is called Brief Thief. And another word for brief is underwear, in case you weren't sure. This book is written by Mikhail Escafi. Hopefully I said that right. These are French names. And the illustrator is Chris D. Giacomo. This morning, Leon enjoyed his breakfast. Then he sunned himself on a big rock, and now Leon has to go poo. He finds a nice tree to hide behind, but when he's done, he realizes, oh no, no paper. Has that ever happened to you in the restroom? Leon looks around for something to use. Leaves. No, they're too prickly. Grass? Mm, no, that'll be too messy. But wait, these old underpants here will do the trick. I don't know that I would use anybody's old underpants. They might belong to someone, but who would come all the way up here? And anyway, they're full of holes. Can you guys see the holes then? Leon finishes his business, then he throws the underpants into the bushes and goes back to his rock. Kind of littering. Not very cool, Leon. Hey, who do you think you are? Huh? What? Who said that? Yeah, you there. You think I didn't see that? Leon looks around and no one in sight. Anybody there? It's me, your conscience. So whenever the conscience is talking to Leon, it's written in black. And then when Leon's talking, it's written in white. It's me, your conscience. My conscience? What's that? I'm the little voice you hear inside your head whenever you set up to do something naughty. But I didn't do anything. Are you sure? 100% sure? Cross your heart sure? Well, there were those underpants. Aha! Now we're getting somewhere. Since when are we allowed to touch other people's things? What do they teach you in school anyway? It was just an old pair of underpants full of holes. I thought they'd been thrown away. Oh, you thought that, did you? But did you also think that maybe the owner of those underpants could have lost them? Or that maybe someone stole them from him? Or maybe, just maybe, he had washed them and gone off for a walk in the woods while they were hanging out in the sun to dry. Leon had a funny feeling the little voice is right. You know what you need to do now. Go on, scrub like you mean it. I don't want to see a single trace left. And when you're finished, hang them up to dry and then get lost. Sounds like a fair punishment. He made them dirty so he should clean them. He took them from their original spot so he should put them back. You sneaky little lizard. He hung them back up, but he saw the lizard running away. Do you think those underpants might have belonged to him? Old underpants full of holes indeed. What's he going to do with underpants that are full of holes? Why do you think he wants them so badly? Look, he used them as like a superhero mask. Hope they were clean. Oh, well, they were clean because luckily Leon just cleaned them. This is a great story. I want you to take more time to listen to that little voice in your head before you make a decision and see if that voice tells you, yeah, that's a great decision. Or if your voice says, you know, I don't think that's the best choice. Maybe you should think of something else to do.